Right now we're learning more about the FAA systems that failed this morning, leading to a nationwide stoppage of all departing planes. CBS 2's Chris Stye is live at O'Hare Airport, where the trickle-down effect is still being felt. Chris. Still being felt, Erica, 25 to 30 percent of flights here at O'Hare still either delayed or canceled because of this morning's issues. They're saying it's going to be till noon tomorrow until everything really gets ironed out. This, as it turns out, was the biggest ground stop in this country since 9-11. It's leaving big questions for the FAA and some big headaches for Chicago-based travelers. When the font next to your flight turns from white to a delayed yellow, You've joined the club of Ellen Slots. I have a flight out of Miami tomorrow, so like if I don't get back home today, this is, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> Her four-hour delay tapping into a dwindling reservoir of goodwill for an airline industry that's had a turbulent two weeks. It seems like it's getting more challenging to get to end results. This was somewhat unprecedented because it was the largest ground stop the FAA has ordered for an entire country since 9-11. Soon. Today's 90 minute ground stop from 620 to 750 a.m. Chicago time resulted in more than 7,500 flights delayed nationwide, 37% of all outbound Midway flights, and 29% of outgoing O'Hare flights included. The problem was with the notice to air mission alerts, which sends real time safety alerts to pilots in the cockpit. We're dealing with systems that are antiquated, that tend to break down, and you can't just reboot them instantaneously, or systems that have no redundancy and no backup systems. CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg says talks of updating that system have been going on for decades. While today's stoppage lasted only 90 minutes, some Chicago travelers did take it in stride. Things appear to be moving now. Planes are boarding. Planes are, I suppose, taking off. So I think it'll, it'll be okay. But the national grid of aircrafts won't be back to normal for about 20 more hours. We expect this with the ripple effect to last until around noon tomorrow, Eastern time, weather notwithstanding. There is no evidence that this was a cyber attack of any kind. Peter Greenberg, the travel editor for CBS, says the catch-22 in all of this is by the time Congress greenlights dollars to upgrade the system and the FAA installs a new state-of-the-art system, the technology is no longer state-of-the-art. Folks here still trying to scramble to get to their final destination before this Wednesday ends. Live at O'Hare, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. It has been a frustrating travel season for sure, Chris. Thanks.